Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, DJ here for Crackberry.com, and it certainly has been an eventful week um, here on Crackberry with 10.2.1 leaked first to Q owners and of course the Dash 1 STL model. Now that it's available for all, it's no better time to kind of run through the um, kind of new features that we can expect to see in 10.2.1. No doubt, obviously, forums have been busy and lots of you have already discovered these, but it's nice to um, get it all on video. So the first thing I'm going to go and show you is the new lock, it's not new lock screen, but a new feature of the lock screen is that you can now tap the message and open them up. So um, I'll just jump into a message here and you can see I can tap to open it. So um, you just tap the message and then it prompts you again to tap to open just to be sure and then there you go opened up. Since I'm in the hub right here I'm going to show you a new uh, pinch gesture which is really really cool. Um, there's a few things you can do with the pinch. Um, I've got it set to um, go to all my unread messages. Um, so if I just do this and basically gives me all my unre unread messages. You can tweak this right here in the settings. Um, use pinch gesture to filter so you can make it go to flag messages, draft messages, meeting invites, sent messages, level one priority messages and also priority messages. Um, but unread is definitely very useful especially on the full touch screen um, because obviously on the Q devices you've got the you can hit U and it will go to the unread messages. Um, so that is a, a awesome pinch gesture in the hub. Um, what we also have in the hub here is the new kind of uh, the delete from. So if I delete this, you get the option to delete just from the hub, or both from hub and server. And this is something that lots and lots of people have wanted wanted from uh, BlackBerry OS days. So I'm um, very glad to see this on here. Um, and if you see down here, if I scroll, um, I get two little um, arrow icons. Um, basically, I can scroll to the next um, message. Oops. Um, yeah, next message and basically previous. So that is also very new in the hub. Battery percentage as well. Lots of people have requested for battery percentage to show up here. And what BlackBerry has done is done it in a really cool and nifty way. So if, if you minimized or if you know you took a peek, um, you can see battery percentage appears there. It's just very cool. Um, and you can also see the battery percentage from the lock screen right there too. So that's the new battery percent percentage. Very, very cool. Um, uh, a very neat feature here is the um, custom quick settings. So these are my the ones I've set. And you can set these right here in the settings. It has its own bit in the settings here. Quick settings. Uh, you just select which one you want to show. Um, there's a whole load here. You can see, and you can even um, rearrange them so that you know your foremost probably device monitors make it go up a bit more um, up there. Then hit save, and um, then that moves up there. Um, but that is a very very welcome custom quick setting. So. Um, the NFC I wanted to be able to toggle from there for a very long time. Lots of people want flight mode, so yep, that is great. Custom quick settings. So you saw device monitor, that's also new. So let's go back and that um, right here. Uh, this is very cool. You can see your battery, um, kind of battery usage, and also check out what's using um, most of your battery. Um, you can check your CPU, CPU usage, your memory, and also your storage. Um, so device monitor is pretty cool and love that it's accessible from the quick settings up there. Um, uh, what you'll also notice is when you do the media volume, uh, it's now just up the top there. No longer that box right in the middle of the screen. So if you're watching something, you did the volume, it kind of goes in the middle of the screen. So it's nice that it just kind of drops from the top. It doesn't um, obscure anything that you were watching. Uh, so that's pretty cool and also if you are listening to music you'll have the music controls there uh, as well and it will all be at the top. Um, 
one other thing here in the menu if I can quickly do this um, can, you'll see for the touchscreen keyboard um, no longer will you have to hide the keyboard in order to see um, attachments you know be able to attach um, or see anything that was under the keyboard um, so this is most welcome again for the full touchscreen um, devices so here you can attach in oops uh, see formatting and um, set it uh, for as important uh, so those are very welcome um, features to the virtual keyboard layout right there um, last but not least let's take a look at installing APKs let's just uh, jump into um, downloads so I've got uh, I've, I've downloaded a couple of um, APK files and you can see they're actually labeled and recognized as APK um, you can tap and hold and this icon right here um, is install but you don't even have to do that you can actually just tap it and it will process and figure out that y you want to be able to install it so um, that is how you um, basically install ABK files once you've downloaded them uh, so that is a quick look at uh, most of the really really new cool features one other thing we need to look at is the new call screen so I'm just gonna call my phone and check it out okay I'm just gonna mute that it's very loud um, but yeah, so you can see here it's slide left to uh, slide left to answer, right to decline. Um, and what's really cool is if you go towards um, answering the call, it starts to go green. And if you go towards wanting to reject the call, it goes to red. And that's it gone to voicemail. Um, but yeah, that was the new call screen. So um, that is a nice quick look at all the new features of 10.2.1, uh, the huge um, features, um, go ahead and try them out for yourself.